Hey guys, I'm Doug. And I'm Phil. Phil is from American Yogi, and he's a good friend of myself and the guys here at Softly, and brought him on today so we can talk about why we implement yoga in our training app and how it can benefit you as a tactical athlete. When I first started doing yoga, I literally laughed. It was supposed to be, it was like something that all the guys that I was on deployment with were doing, and they were like, you should come do it. And I'm like, dude, I am not gay. Flexible. I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not flexible. That yeah. sounds miserable. Why would I yeah. do that? And right before we left, they guilted me into going into one of the fitness facilities on the base where we were stuck. It was like al Assad or something. Mm -hmm. And there was a 60 year old woman who was running it and it wasn't a hot yoga room, but it might as well have been. There yeah. was like 120 degrees in the room and there yeah. was like 40 people in there and it was literally the hardest thing I've ever done. It was miserable. Yeah. And I left with a completely different change attitude about the yoga as a whole. But when we came back and I started to get more into it because my wife was doing it, I definitely started to realize like the intrinsic benefits and it opened my mind to a lot of different stuff. How did you get in to doing yoga? Yeah, I mean, so so I always looked at yoga as something for chicks. So I never touched it, never thought it would be something for me. But I broke my back in 2015 in a training accident. And I was, I was laid out cold, couldn't move, couldn't sit up, couldn't walk. I went from a walker to a cane and then I was walking and jogging again. But when I finally kicked the pain pills and, and started getting ready for selection, I needed something that, that would help my mobility, help me, help me in, a, in a safe way to get back to where I needed to be. So I walked into a yoga studio the very first time with a buddy, 240 pound, like tanker, could have been straight out of fury. We walked in there with a couple beach towels. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't have a nice mat. And we laid our beach towels out and I'm looking around at everyone else around me the entire class. And, I felt like I stood out like a sore thumb. Well, you, um, did, you did. I did stand out like a sore thumb. <laughs> he, he more so, but myself as well. Um, this was was this in Southern Pines? This was no. This was actually in Colorado Springs. So okay. I was at Fort Carson at the time. Was it at Hot Asana there? It was at Hot Asana in uh, Colorado Springs. That's where I got my start. I feel like the Hot Asana, which by the way is the best yoga studio in the world. If you get a chance to do any of the Hot Asana studios, you should definitely go. But there will always be like two or three dudes that yeah. look like us in the wrong clothes, sweating our asses off, yeah. and maybe smelling something like a distillery. Going from that dude on a beach towel in, in a studio in Colorado Springs, now I'm a teacher yep. at the studio in Southern Pines. I would say unquestionably yoga, yoga changed my life. It changed my approach to, to my job. It changed my approach to my workouts and my health and my fitness regimen uh, from the start, from day one. Early on in my practice, I noticed while I wasn't familiar or comfortable with the movements, that I, I had the mental benefits from it. I could attack workouts. I could attack my job with a lot more peace and calm than I could prior. And as you know, the older you get, you know, the, the harder it is to do certain things, especially myself with, my, with a broken back, you know, deadlifting's harder for me. You know, overhead presses are sometimes harder for me. But it's not about thinking about the things that I, that I can't do that I once could, but what can I do now with the body that I have? Well, I mean, you, I assume that after your accident, you couldn't deadlift or overhead press at all. Absolutely correct. You're back doing those things now? I, I am to an extent. So the, <laughs> the good thing is that when I, when I look at the, the soft lead app, uh, what I enjoy about the app itself for my workouts is that there are variations just like there are in yoga. So if there's a movement I can't do uh, involving weights, I find a, a different way to yep. do it. Maybe it's not a barbell, maybe it's a dumbbell substitution. Well, yoga is no different. You know, if I can't do some crazy balanced twist, but I'm trying to work that muscle or I'm trying to work that twist, that part of my body, I can find another way to do it. And now I feel like empower, I, I feel empowered again uh, that I have that, that mobility and that, that ability. Because of the way flows are led, um, are those progressions, they're coached, like they're, vo they're actually spoken during the flow, right? I, I think that, that unless you have a, a strong personal practice, maybe you've, you've went to a uh, yoga teacher training, for example, so you do have those tools to guide yourself through practice. Uh, a, a led practice, in my opinion, is the best way to go when you're starting out, for sure. But the, I mean, in a led practice, the instructor is going to very organically walk through those modifications. Uh, you won't feel like you're an outlier at all. It's kind of like, if you can't do this thing, now do this other thing. So the people who've already done the prescribed movement are yes. in it, and people who don't know what they're doing are yeah. listening for the modified one uh, as they go, right? I think it's a necessity. Yep. Um, you're not only gonna get the basics of, of where, a, where a foot should be, where a hand should be, which way should you have flexion of your back, should you have, should you be internal, external rotation, you're also gonna get modifications for what you can or can't do. 
and not as, it, oh, it's better if you do this, it's harder if you do this. It just looks different to your body if you do this. When I started doing yoga, I could never have imagined wanting to become an instructor. Now that I've done yoga on and off for like, I don't know, the last six or seven years, yeah. I understand why people who don't wanna teach want to become instructors. And yeah. I think it credits towards one of the reasons that we put yoga flows on the app. The quality of movement and the proprioception, like the body awareness that you get from knowing <laughs> Yeah. what muscles are firing, what position you're in, how to balance in uncomfortable positions. Yeah. Those are things that aren't like intuitive. So I think that, you know, some of the reasons people dislike the idea of yoga is because yeah. they know that like, I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> you would think that more flexibility would reduce your strength numbers, but better body positioning reduces the chances of injury. It increases your strength because your form is better and your ability to stabilize in different positions is better. If you're utilizing and you know mobility training like yoga, it's going to enhance your ability to lift more, not inhibit your ability to be stronger. You may also find ways that you needed to improve that you didn't know prior to doing yoga. Had no idea like, oh, every time a physical therapist touches me, yeah. oh, you're really tight. I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah, what am I supposed to do about that? You know, like, yeah, exactly. okay, cool, I'm filing that away. But yeah. with yoga, you're just kind of naturally addressing some of those tightnesses and impingements and working through them. I like the fact that in lead practice, the kind that we have in the app, you don't know what it is you're improving on, really, because you're kind of going through unfamiliar motions and mm -hmm. having to stabilize in different positions. So it's not like you're thinking about that you have a weakness and you're addressing it. Yeah. It's something that's just happening naturally, which is freeing up your focus and like awareness and allowing you to just kind of rest your brain while your body is trying to do things it's never done before. And it's not something that you'll necessarily see the first time you do it. Oh no, it'll be awkward. It'll be super awkward the first time, the second time, the third time. Hell, I've been practicing for almost a decade now and I still feel awkward in a lot of positions. Every scorpion. But it, What's but happening? Yeah, exactly. I'm about to fall over. <laughs> but what, what's great about it though is that it, it's almost like standing out in, in on a misty day. It doesn't feel like you're getting wet, but 10 minutes later you're soaked. Yoga is the, is the same way for me. And for a lot of people, the, the longer you do it, the more you'll notice, you'll wake up one day and you'll realize, wow, I actually feel calmer today. Wow, that, that pain that I had on my side is starting to go away. When I was training in a sympathetic state, day in, day out, year over year, I plateaued and I mean, I was at a good place. I thought I was pretty good. It wasn't like world class, but I was competitive in a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I would never get better. My run time stayed where they were. They were. Uh, my heart rate was always crazy. I was just like amped up, just coming out of the gate, hard charging, focusing more on meditating yeah. more. Yeah. Um, that literally reset everything. And, and you're allowing more room in your tendons, your ligaments, you're allowing, uh, allowing more room in your body to push that much further well, with yoga. You don't get stressed about working out anymore. Yeah. It's not like it's like a high pressure thing. It's yeah. like, hey, my numbers all got better. My relative effort went down all because I was able to relax. And a lot of that is due to yoga and meditation. And I think that both of those subjects are very scary or yeah. distasteful to people who have a lot of identity in being alpha or being like very, you know, decisive and aggressive. And yeah. I think that the identity constructs we create about what is helpful and what isn't yeah. works against us. So I would encourage anybody who watches this video to kind of take your preconceived notions and like pack them up in a box and throw them in the ocean and see what some yoga movement and you know, meditation can do for you. What would you say to some uber jacked alpha male? It's probably only that way in his head. It's probably like 135 yeah. pound private at the 80 seconds. Soaking wet. What would you tell that kid about starting a yoga practice? Don't let your preconception stop you. Uh, I think the barrier to a lot of people entering the practice, a lot of men are entering the practice for the most part is that they don't wanna be viewed a certain way. Uh, it's actually the flip side, however, though. The biggest, baddest, toughest dudes I ever met do yoga and meditate and get on the mat and their, uh, their entire lives improve because of it. They're stronger because of it, they're faster because of it, and they're calmer because of it. If you think that you could benefit from introducing some yoga into your training regimen, 
Go to softly.com and sign up for the app. We have seven focused flows that are led by qualified yoga instructors that'll guide you through the basics that you need to start figuring out how to de-stress your life and recover better.